Hey there, Virgo. Welcome to your reading for quarter three of 2024. This is for July through September. You have this owl spirit says you see clearly now, and you have this crow spirit that says co-create with spirit. So I want to see what do you see clearly uh, at this time. I think you see the changes uh, that you need to make in your life more clearly. Uh, clearly. I also feel that you could have your eye on, on a new opportunity. Uh, this, you had two cards here, the Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles uh, wanted to come out together. And so that would be you showing up in a very strong position. Whenever you show up as the Major Arcana version of yourself, it puts you in a position of power and strength. And then the Ace of Pentacles would be a very big opportunity that clearly you need to get to work on with the Eight of Pentacles. And so you could be looking at, um, you know, again, new opportunities that are coming your way. And uh, these look really, really good. I, I do feel like this is a work opportunity. I'm cheating a little bit because, you know, based off your astrology, I think work is changing for you, Virgo. Uh, that does not mean you have to get a new job or anything like that, or you have to, you know, quit your business or something. It just means that you're upgrading what you are doing. So again, I just think that you could be working in a different way, or, um, you know, you, you might be doing the same exact thing, but there are just some changes uh, that are going on in work. And again, I think that um, for Virgo in particular, particular, again, paying attention to those changes, but also paying attention to how much you have changed right here, the strength card. The strength card is a display of strength. That lion represents her inner voice or her inner critic or inner demons, and she is getting those things to submit to her. So I feel you have done a lot of work on yourself, and we go this way down eight of pentacles to the ten of cups. The Ten of Cups could be love, but, you know, really, I think the Ten of Cups is talking about uh, fortune after difficulty. So because you have changed on multiple levels, I think that's why your work is changing. Um, it's changing because of you and because of the things that you're doing. And so maybe you need to work on a bigger level. Like maybe you're upgrading, like I said, or getting a raise or a promotion. You're clearly going through an, an, like a big transformation. I think you have been for several several years, and now that transformation is kind of coming to an end. We've talked about this a lot. I, you know, part of me it has kind of started to wonder if it if it was, um, you know, Pluto and Capricorn that w that was the change time for you, like the last twenty years. Pluto is retrograding back into Capricorn, but it's going to move in November back into Aquarius to stay for twenty years. And I kind of wonder if that's like when your transformation will be fully complete is like the end of this year. And I, I think that for the most part, it's complete. It's not. It's not like. It's not like Pluto going back to twenty nine degrees is going to drag you all the way back to the beginning of Pluto and Aquarius, or I mean uh, Pluto and Capricorn. But you know, I, I think that maybe there will be some moments where you're reminded of the changes that you've been through, or you're you kind of relive some things, but not that big of a deal. And I feel like the Temperance card is saying that now you have the opportunity to transform opportunities that come into your life. Right here, we have the Hermit. Uh, which is you in the Ace of Pentacles. I think that you've been in Hermit mode uh, probably for a while. The Hermit goes through Hermit mode to do some soul searching or to find his inner light. And the Ace of Pentacles is the opportunity uh, that he has discovered here in, in this situation. So I think that you going on a long journey that could have been dark at, at some times is leading to a big opportunity. Uh, this could be, like I said, in work or business. It could be whatever else you're looking for as well. You know, there's a little bit of love here. So if you want love, um, there could be love coming in for you. Uh, it could be another earth sign or a fire sign. Uh, earth and fire really stand out to me in your reading. So if you're looking for love, it could be like an earth sign or a fire sign that's coming in for you. Uh, with the strength card, you have the temperance card. Exactly what I said at the beginning of the reading. <laughs> I think that uh, you have learned how to transform situations. I think you have learned that if something doesn't work the first time, like work or in love or in business or whatever, that it, it's not over. There are changes you can make to kind of get something to work out for you. And I feel you've learned to just um, kind of maybe, um, you know, work with things. I don't, I really don't know what I'm trying to say here, but I feel like you've learned that sometimes things need to be worked, you know, kind of like clay, you know, if you're trying to create a statue, it's like sometimes things need to be massaged into place. Uh, with the temperance card, you have the page of cups. I think you've been very patient for like love or finding a love connection. There definitely could be love here. I mean, it is a really, this summer is really good for love. And you have the page of cups, lovers, ten of cups, page of pentacles. 
So you could be attracting a new person into your life. I do feel like this person, you know, if you're attracting a person, I think people will be surprised by like who you choose. <laughs> um, not that this isn't a good person or something like that. I just think that uh, maybe you have a type and maybe you're picking someone who is different than your usual type or something like that. I also feel, I, I'm pretty sure I just said this to you recently and I, I, I could be wrong, but I almost see you picking a person um, where it's like there's more than meets the eye. You know, it's like, I, I think that maybe people see the person one way, but it's like once you get to know the person, there's more There's more below the surface. You have this uh, card that says Treasure Island on it, and the Treasure Island card, I'll show you in just a second, but there's more below the surface, and that's kind of the feeling I get here. Uh, with the uh, Hermit and the Ace of Pentacles, you have the Sun. The Sun is the best card in the tarot, and the Sun shines a light on things that you need to pay attention to. Uh, I, so I, sometimes I feel that the Sun in a reading is a spotlight, you know, it's shining a light on something. So if your attention is being drawn to an idea, a business, uh, a new direction, a new person, uh, I would definitely move in those directions, move towards your attention, and that's what I would do with the Sun. Uh, next in the area of uh, what's coming in for you. You have this Treasure Island card. You have this Yin Energy card. The Yin card is kind of like a card of resting, relaxing, recovering. So it could be a good time for recovery and taking care of yourself and healing yourself. Uh, your first card is the Three of Swords. Uh, the Three of Swords doesn't have to be a big deal. Again, the Three of Swords is temporary. The Three of Swords can just represent healing or forgiveness and healing your heart. So I do feel it would be a good time for you to do that. The Treasure Island card is the as above, so below card in this deck. It just says that your, you know, your inner your inner world will match your outer world and vice versa. So great time for manifestation. But it also says there's more below the surface. So I kind of feel that for those of you that are looking for love, you could be healing yourself or you have been for a long time. Those swords are in your own heart. And the Three of Swords is about forgiving uh, past situations. Again, cheating a little bit, just based off your astrology, it really wouldn't surprise me if you've been healing yourself through past connections, even if they sucked, right? <laughs> uh, so e sometimes I think we go through a sucky relationship because it's meant to show us like our wounds and the things that we need to heal. And so you've been through something that sucked probably, at, le at least one thing, and this could be over the last like 20 years. And you know now you are removing those swords from your heart so that you can heal and get something that's much better, hopefully. And I think that's kind of what you're working towards with the Three of Swords. Uh, you have the Eight of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles is about working towards something. He is mastering his craft. He is putting in the work, but he is almost done. He only has one more pentacle to do after this one, and then he will have completed his work. So I feel you are very close to kind of completing the work that you've been doing on yourself, which clearly you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. The strength card really is like the card of personal development or personal growth in the tarot. And I feel, again, you probably have been doing a lot of work on yourself with the strength card and also the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles is also a material success on the horizon. I do feel like there's, you don't have a lot, this is the only money card you have here so far, but I do feel, except for the Page of Pentacles, but you know, I think that you've done a lot of work to improve your finances and you could be experiencing more financial growth as well. Uh, you have the Lovers. The lovers, of course, could be love coming in for you at this time. Uh, I feel like there could be a very strong connection. Like I said, I feel like there's more that below the surface. It's like this person, I, th I think that this person you could be attracting has like an outer persona, but they, they also have like an inner world as well, but like a, a deep, rich inner world. <laughs> so as you get to know this person, I think they kind of develop or they blossom in front of your eyes. So again, it could be a person who is just a little bit more reserved or you know, I, I really don't know what word I'm looking for here, but probably reserved is probably a good word. And again, I think that, you know, I would be careful of other people's opinions because again, other people might be like, oh, this person is this, that, and the other thing, but they really don't know this person. It's like, this is one of those people where it really, I think these types of people that I'm describing are the best people because they don't have to brag or say anything about who they are. They just are who they are. <laughs> and, and that's kind of what I get here. It's like, there's no need for them to, to show off or, you know, talk about all their accomplishments or whatever, because they, they it's like they live it, you know, and I feel you could be attracting a person like that. Like we go up to the King of Wands. The King of Wands is very like bold, assertive, confident, and all these other things, but he's not like standing up there barking and yelling and screaming about how great he is. He is just, a, you know, kind of living it, and you could be attracting a person who's like that. Uh, you, with the Three of Swords, you have the world. 
So again, a card of completion. I feel like you are completing your healing and just getting to the next stage. With the Eight of Pentacles, you have the King of Pentacles. There you go. Uh, King of Pentacles is more reserved. He There's nothing he needs to do. He's standing on his bag, right? <laughs> He's got that bag under his foot. But he, he isn't really necessarily having to do anything. He also has those grapes all over his cloak. And the grapes in the tarot represent being able to do something that's very difficult to do. So this person, they might have a career or a business or they might do something that is more challenging to do, but he's like almost wearing the cloak. It's like there's nothing, he doesn't have to show off because his results speak for himself, themselves. And I kind of feel, you know, it doesn't matter what gender you're attracting here either. I feel like you're attracting a person where it's like they don't, their results speak for themselves. They don't have to say anything. Um, but again, I, I think, you know, kind of the interesting person thing that's popping into my head is that this is like an undercover billionaire. You know, it's like this, I'm not saying you're really attracting a billionaire but you know that's a feeling I get like I feel like this person might be very humble or maybe they just dress very normally but maybe they have tons of money right or something like that so it's kind of giving me those vibes of a person it's like they don't need all this stuff really I don't know there you go uh, with the lovers you have the eight of pentacles where did we see this um did, I thought you had the eight of pentacles twice am I making that up oh no you did <laughs> I can't see that's the problem you have the eight of pentacles right above it the Eight of Pentacles says all the work that you've been doing on yourself is adding up. So again, I think you've been doing a lot of work uh, based off of lo how love affects your life. And this work is starting to lead to results. Now, I want to stress that this this does not mean you have to have love in your life. You um, you know, what it could be talking about is like what you love or what you love to do. And this could have uh, connections to other types of love relationships in your life, like your parents or, um, you know, other people that you love. And I feel like you're seeing how how love affects your finances. And you could be making positive changes uh, in, in regards to like loving yourself, for example, and that would be a good thing because then you can improve your finances because you're valuing yourself more, which is something you could be working on. And then that spills over into other areas of your life. Uh, you have this seahorse card. It says composure, serenity, fatherhood. You have a skunk. It says conflict, avoidance, uh, um, discretion, and lunar energy as well. So I would pay attention to anything that stinks here, Virgo, in your life. That card that says discretion on it says pay attention to things that um, you know don't seem right. I think that maybe that's where you've gotten into trouble in the past, just again, based off your astrology, but also this card. I think that you've gotten into trouble where you didn't trust your gut instinct, like on a person or a situation, and that led to some sort of falling out or issue in your life. The seahorse card, I feel like is saying that you've learned how to maintain your composure. We actually have a card of composure right here, the hangman. He has maintained his composure in hangman mode, and he put himself in hangman mode so he could gain enlightenment. But in your clarification, you have the sun. So I feel like you have gained answers on like what you need to take action on. On a very simple level, the king of wands can represent bold action or, you know, taking action on something. And so now that you have the answers, I think it's time for you to take action in new directions in your life. That's where the success is going to come from. Uh, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords is self-imposed restriction. And so I feel like you have to stop punishing yourself for, you know, past uh, failures or past what situations or things that didn't work out and all that other you know all that other good stuff and i feel like you need to set yourself free again i think the things you know it's very clear to me based off your astrology that what is holding you back is past things where you are maybe have guilt or you're beating yourself up over things that you did in the past and i feel that's what virgo has to let go of i've said it before I'll probably say it again because, again, based off your astrology, this is what you're dealing with right now. And I think it's saying, like, that's you can change your story. You don't have to keep living the same story. And for some reason, I thought you had the magician. You don't. So never mind. But what I would say is if you had the magician, <laughs> then, you know, it would be a good time of reinvention. I still think it's a good time of reinvention for you because you have the world. The world says you have the power uh, to create a world for yourself that you actually want to live in. And that's what I would be doing here. Uh, you have the Ten of Cups. Uh, Ten of Cups is like fortune after difficulty, uh, good things coming in for you after a difficult period of time. And that's what I would be focusing on is things that bring happiness, joy, enlightenment, you know, all those good positive feelings into your life. Ten of Cups is also happy home, happy family. You have this fatherhood card. If you're hoping to uh, attract a father of your children or if you're hoping to have a family, uh, this could definitely be you attracting a person uh, that you could have a family with. So uh, let's see uh, where this is going. Uh, with the hangman, you have the King of Cups. 
How, you have a bunch of kings here, almost all four kings. You have three so far, so you could be attracting, you know, an emperor type person. Although you don't have the king of swords yet, that could that could change. Uh, the king of cups is also about exploring your emotions, and with the three of swords here, I definitely feel that you uh, have explored your emotions. The king of cups has gone to great depths, and he has explored how he his heart feels about things, and now he's in sitting in choppy waters, but he is perfectly fine because he has explored his emotions. He knows how his emotions affect his life, and I think you've explored your emotions. Uh, with the eight of swords, you have the nine of swords. The Nine of Swords is a never-ending nightmare, and I feel like there you need to get out of this. Nine of Swords says, you know, don't be a victim to your past circumstances. So that's like, it's a really good reading, but that's the one thing that is getting in the way here is you beating yourself up for something from the past. That's really what I feel for Virgo for the most part. And it's like, once you release this, I think you will be set free. With the Ten of Cups, you have the Death card, so you're releasing it. <laughs> uh, great. Uh, there's really nothing to say here. I think you are releasing whatever this is. The Death card is just the light at the end of the tunnel, the transformation uh, where you are releasing whatever you're punishing yourself for. Uh, next, in the area of the good stuff, you have this networker card. It says networking can help you grow, help your money grow. You're trying to do too much. You need support. It's okay to trust help. Yes, I think you've had problems with trust. Looking at your astrology over the last like ten years, I think you've had problems with people you can trust, people you can listen to. But now you can trust new people. Uh, and again, trust your instincts. Uh, trust things that stink. Like I said. You have this partnership card. It says you're manifesting a strong and successful partnership. Consider, consider having a partner uh, who can help bring the experience you lack. So this could be in love. This could also be in work or business. But I feel like you could really be attracting good people into your life, not just in love, but also in work and business, um, You know, people that you can work with. And I feel these are people that kind of fill in the gaps or help you um, explore new ideas. Uh, you have the King of Wands. Again, I feel like what if you're, I, I would, you could be attracting any sign here, but I do feel it's a fiery person. Uh, the other funny thing is, is like outwardly, I feel like they are not very fiery. You know, it's like on, on the outside, maybe they don't look very fiery, but on the inside, I feel like they are very passionate. They have a lot of desires. They have a lot of goals, wishes, dreams. And that could be the type of person you're attracting. Uh, I also feel like you are embracing this action taker type of energy where you're taking action on things you want. Uh, you have the chariot. The chariot would be a big victory or a big win coming in for you. So I love it. I also feel like some of you could be thinking about moving or you are moving. And I feel if you are moving or traveling, that would be great for you. He has this city behind him and he is going in a new direction. So the whole point of the chariot is that he is leaving everything he has known behind and he's allowing, he's trusting the universe. And also, he also represents as above, so below. You have that as above, so, uh, as above, so below card. And so he is in alignment with what he wants. And because he's in alignment, the universe is guiding him. These two sphinxes represent the mysteries of the universe and they are guiding him uh, towards what he wants. So I feel like you are being guided at this time. Uh, you have the page of pentacles. Uh, this would be communication with a person. So I feel that some of you <clears throat> could be communicating with a new person. This is also a great card for learning. And I think we're in a great time for learning. So any anything you can do to learn about whatever you're trying to do would be a good idea. Uh, with the King of Wands, you have the Page of Swords. Hmm, I feel like either you're spying on someone or someone is spying on you here, Virgo. I don't know. Maybe you have your eye on a person. Go for it. <laughs> there you go. Uh, with the Chariot, you have the Chariot. Big victory. Big win coming in for you at this time. So love it. Um, I would just stay in alignment. With the Page of Pentacles, there you go. You have the Magician. I literally said that. Uh, I feel like you are reinventing yourself or you are changing um, you, know, you, you are changing how you react to the world based off your emotions with that King of Cups, and that is probably helping you manifest what you want. Uh, I always pull the card that he is pointing towards. Hold on. Uh, so he's pointing right here, and you have this To the Sea card. So you are clearly starting a new journey. The To the Sea card is about you know going places you've never been before, uh, exploring new people, new ideas, uh, new situations. And we kind of said that. You have the Chariot. Chariot is um, setting himself apart. He is going somewhere he's never been before. Uh, you have this originality card and this status card. I feel like you're attracting a very original person. And the status card is like one of my fancy couple cards, so you could be attracting a fancy person as well, or the two of you together will be uh, very fancy. There you go. <laughs> uh, you have this fulfillment card. Yes. Um, look at this. There is a boat on this fulfillment card. 
So I think that you traveling, moving, uh, going on adventures, that's where the fulfillment is going to come from in your life. Or that's where you could be creating fulfillment. Uh, you have this resistance card. I think you need to push through the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. It's just resistance. And, you know, one of my favorite books of all time, The War of Art, uh, he talks about how, uh, you know, w when we re reach maximum resistance, it's like that's when we push through that, that's where true success comes from. And so I feel like you need to push through resistance. Uh, you have this generosity card. Mm, I just feel like you feel like the universe is being more generous to you and, and maybe moving out of the way. There's less obstacles in the way. And uh, finally, you have this adaptability card. Yeah, being flexible is going to be a superpower for you here, Virgo. But this looks really, really good. I like where this is going. So thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your quarter.